Welcome back to the Future of Mobility Season 3, where we're embarking on a grand journey that goes beyond just vehicles. Unlike our previous seasons, this time we're diving into the vast world of mobility innovations that extend far beyond traditional transportation. So in Season 1, we explored the electric frontier, and in Season 2, we unfolded the saga of sustainable and smart mobility, featuring industry giants. And now, in Season 3, we're broadening our scope. It's not just about wheels on the road, it's about transforming the entire landscape of how we move. So from nimble two-wheelers to robust six-wheelers, including extremely heavy-duty construction and farming vehicles, our coverage is extensive. Our exploration navigates pressing environmental concerns. It also delves into the intricacies of policy and regulation and immerses itself in the dynamic realm of autonomous and connected vehicles. I'm Devina Lasson, your guide through this multifaceted exploration. As we embark on this journey, we extend our gratitude to all of our partners for being with us on this quest for smarter, more sustainable mobility solutions for the future. In the diverse landscape of India, ensuring transportation inclusivity isn't just a goal, it's a necessity. In Season 3 of The Future of Mobility, as we delve deeper into the evolving landscape, exploring innovations that shape the future of transportation for all. The key lies in seamless collaboration between public and private sectors, fueled by technological innovations that pave the way for mobility that truly serves everyone. Sustainable automotive practices take center stage, promoting shared, eco-friendly options that transcend mere transportation, encouraging a shift in behavior towards a more equitable and eco-conscious future. This isn't just a journey from point A to B, it's a collective effort to redefine how people move, ensuring that mobility becomes a right, not a privilege. I think as the country is moving, uh, we need to ensure that we connect the dots uh, with other sectors which uh, get impacted because at the end of the day, a large amount of oil that we import today is consumed by the transportation sector. And if oil is going to be replaced by something else, it could be electricity in form of battery or it could be hydrogen in form of uh, the power that we may see in future. Of course, innovation is in two areas when it comes to future mobility. One is in the air, in the way how products are designed, product technology is designed. The other is in the area of, of how we can make it easier for customers and you, end users to adopt these new technologies. So in the area of product technology, of course, we're investing in, the, in developing low, uh, I mean, uh, fuel efficient, low emission, diesel engine based products. But at the same time, we are also developing zero emission electric products. The challenge with newer technology is always that it comes with the complexity of the technology behind it. So in, in order to make it easier for end customers to adopt it, we are coming with solutions that makes, takes away the risk from the end customers. For example, uh, a year ago we launched the equipment as a service business model with the idea that to adopt an electric machine which takes a very high amount of capital cost, the customer need not have to put up any capital cost. Rather, he can use the product as a service into his operations and pay to us based on the usage of the machine. So this has taken away the risk of adopting newer technologies and as these technologies become more and more common for the end customer, they will also be sold as conventional products. I think at the same time, uh, while uh, uh, we focus a lot when it comes to mobility on personal mobility and so on and so forth, public mobility uh, or public transportation is also going to be very, very important. Today, India is far behind uh, as compared to other nations in terms of our share on public transportation, uh, especially buses. I think we are seeing a lot of metros, rapid rails come up, but I think bus transportation also needs to go up uh, uh, multiple, multiple times in the country. At the same time, I would say last mile connectivity from a perspective of micro mobility is going to be very, very important. And hence, keeping in mind some of these uh, 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 expectations that the consumers may have, whether it is from a perspective of public transportation or micro mobility, safety and convenience will become very, very important. I think the change will happen in that direction then. As the future of transportation unfolds, 
data-driven mobility takes the lead. Transcends, trends reveal opportunities for efficient, safe and sustainable solutions. Embracing data not only boosts system performance but also propels the industry towards connectivity, security and an eco-friendly future. This marks a promising evolution in India's mobility landscape. Uh, data is going to be extremely important, especially uh, as vehicles, uh, more and more vehicles on the road get connected. And not just the vehicles getting connected, but it's also along with the vehicles, the entire infrastructure uh, which is getting connected. The future uh, is going to be exciting. If people can utilize this data, which is going to come from connected vehicles as well as connected infrastructure, we are seeing a lot of trends. So I think that as we progress, uh, the next uh, 10, 15 years, 20 years are going to be extremely uh, uh, volatile in a sense, volatile in a sense in a positive manner. So driving the transformation of our industry is very high on the, of our, in our agenda. If I take some example, for example, in way back in early 2000s, we introduced the 48-ton excavator, which today has transformed the fuel efficiency levels of uh, in our in the mining industry in India. It's uh, it has prompted all the players in the market to go after fuel efficiency, and and that has been a big benefit for the nation. We are likely to see a lot of new technologies come into the into the future of mobility. People are going to look at a hybrid in future. Also the replacement that we are likely to see could be different in different forms of vehicles. For example, as we move into future, probably the two-wheelers and three-wheelers might get completely electrified because that's the easiest uh, way of making sustainable solutions when it comes to two-wheelers and three-wheelers. But when it comes to passenger cars, maybe we'll see a future where passenger cars are driven on electric, but not just electric. It could be hydrogen, it could be CNG, so it could be a mix of all the three. If you talk about commercial vehicles, buses, trucks, especially heavy commercial vehicles, maybe it's not going to be that much electric necessarily because it becomes difficult, especially for a large heavy commercial vehicle to get completely electric. But you may see in future, they're getting more towards hydrogen possibly. So the, I think the next 15, 20 years, we'll see a mix of a lot of these technologies uh, come in to provide a comprehensive solution. So in my view, uh, our role is to instigate, be a catalyst in the transformation of an industry. We have done it in several different areas. And I think in the future, we'll probably work with both partial and fully automated technologies also, which will be pioneered by Volvo CE in India. In conclusion, a transformative journey unfolds, transcending traditional vehicles from nimble two-wheelers to robust six-wheelers. The exploration navigates environmental concerns, policy intricacies, and the dynamic realm of autonomous and connected vehicles. It's not just about the road. It's about steering towards a future where mobility is dynamic, sustainable, and boundless. All right, thank you for joining us in this very first episode of Season 3 of The Future of Mobility. We would also like to thank our partners as they join this revolution with us. So in our upcoming episodes, we'll explore how electric vehicles are not just changing how we move but influencing consumer behaviour. We'll also dive into the critical aspects of decarbonizing transportation and reducing environmental impacts, aligning modern automated products with the urgent need for sustainability. So please stay tuned as we shape the future of cleaner, greener mobility together. Stay tuned for more such exciting insights in the episodes to come.